Okay, so con haul time. First, let's go through the not so interesting things. I got a bookmark. <laughs> um, but this guy writes really cool looking storybooks, like fantasy things. So if you're into fantasy books, go check him out. Uh, I didn't buy the book because I wasn't sure I wanted to because, you know, it was like $20 and I, I, um, spent a life savings on Voltron. Um, so I might be going back online to buy a book from him. Okay, second thing is, uh, I got this business card. I just wanted to show it because they put Braille on it. That's really cool. I've never seen put anyone put Braille on their thing. Anyway, that's a different thing. They run out costumes, and you can make money by selling your costumes to them, so I'm going to do that. Check out this person. They are a really good cosplayer. I met them on Friday, so go check her out. She's really nice. Okay, here is my con badge. It's really cool. I like the shiny holographic 2019. I got this from Geeks Out. They had pronoun stickers. So I wore that all weekend. So into the actual items I got. I got this mouth mask with the cute little kitty face on it. Because when I am shaving fur for fursuits, it gets in my mouth, my nose, my eyes, my ears. You, you wouldn't believe where this fur gets. Um, so I'm going to wear this while I'm shaving fur. And hopefully this will protect my lungs with my asthma. <laughs> okay, some free things I got. I went to the DreamWorks table and they um, gave me some stickers from Spirit. I don't think I'm going to use these, but... You know, they're cute. I'll probably put them on my letters to my customers. I got this uh, Trolls bouncy ball. I think it might light up. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Um, strobe warning. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway. Uh, I got the Scorpia pin from she -Ra. It was like um, a Plinko game that you had to do. You had to drop down your thingy in there. And I aimed for Scorpia and I got her because she is my gay wife. I love Scorpia. <laughs> and we made these things at the library table or whatever. Anyway, you're supposed to like fidget with it in line. <laughs> We went to story time, and then after story time, he's like, go make these fidget toys, and so we did. So I made mine rainbow. And then, uh, yesterday, we went to see, like, a costume parade, or maybe this was Saturday, I don't know. But, um, Ranger Rick was there, and my mom freaked out and got a picture with Ranger Rick, because she liked him, and it's their 50th birthday of the magazine. I used to get these magazines when I was a kid, so I picked up one. They're pretty interesting. And so, it took me two days to track down this table. So, one of the people who run Bleed Geeks is one of my friends on um, Instagram. I met her last year at Awesome Con. So, uh, she makes feminine products. <laughs> so, these bags are actually, like, you know inside it's supposed to like keep the outside of the bag dry and the inside if you put something wet in it but uh I had contacts in that day so I bought these two pouches to put my contact solution in so it didn't open up in my backpack <laughs> and get all my other things wet and they worked great for that so um even if you're not using them for their intended purpose if you put like wet things in there it's fine <laughs> Anyway, mostly I wanted to go to her table because she was my friend and I wanted to go talk to her. So next we have pictures. So my mom and I did two photo ops. One of them I did on my own and one of them my mom did with me. So uh, you know from the vlog already that I met John Barrowman again <laughs> because obviously John Barrowman. And you can see I just like attached myself to him. <laughs> Anyway, my mom was just starstruck. My mom is in love with John Barrowman now. 
<laughs> and then I met Carrie Elwes, also from The Princess Bride. The Princess Bride is one of my favorite movies ever, and so that was really cool. I was really nervous before I met him. He wasn't doing hugs that day, but I think that's just because he didn't want to get hurt by the multitude of people who were in line. So, yeah. <laughs> so we did that. I'm getting frames of that later. And then I did this thing that was super cool on Saturday called 3D Portraits. Here is his card if you want to see. There's nothing on the back. Anyway, he always does awesome con, he said. Uh, he took my business card so he can try and start doing furry cons. <laughs> anyway, it's a 3D portrait. I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera. But you can see it moves. But in person, it looks like it's popping out of it. So they did like this whole tracking with me. I had to, like, freeze and hold this position while they tracked a camera across. And um, I thought that Max's time rewind position was, like, perfect for this. And this was $60, and it was a very well-spent $60. I love this so much. <laughs> Before we get on to my Voltron stuff, let's go through the NASA stuff. Because... <laughs> It's just like, I got a bunch of posters and information on NASA because I'm interested in actually working for NASA. So I got some of that. Uh, I got a sticker from the refueling mission. I might have um, shown my Voltron stuff for a second. Anyway, let's see. This poster is of a satellite. Um, let me actually open it up for a second. Hang on. Okay, here is the poster. Uh, it's not one I probably would have picked up on my own, but my mom was just like, oh, just get that poster. And so the person was just like, yeah, just get this poster. And I'm like, okay, I'll take that poster. And then I had to lug it around the con with me the rest of the day. Uh, <laughs> it's huge. That took up my entire sleeping area on my bed to just put that out and now my favorite thing from NASA was they took a Polaroid of me in the NASA jacket and then they took a better picture of it on my phone so um I will insert that over here somewhere so you can see side by side the picture so that you can see there because one of my eyes right here one of them is red and one isn't because of the flash because I have two different colored eyes <laughs> anyway I absolutely loved wearing the NASA jacket <laughs> it was a highlight of my Friday um first off over here somewhere I'll put the picture of all of her information it was Friday and she had already run out of business cards so she put out a little poster that you could take a picture of anyway these are actually glasses cleaners, and I was wearing glasses Friday for Pidge, so it worked. Um, but instead of getting prints of these two, it was more economical for my wallet to get these. <laughs> and they are beautiful. Like, look how pretty Pearl is. And Amethyst. And I ship Pearl Mythist, so these are amazing. Okay, here's the first print I got. It's Marceline and Bubblegum because I love that ship a lot. It's so pretty. Look at their faces. Oh my gosh. And they're an actual canon ship now, and I'm so happy. Even if I didn't see the last few seasons of Adventure Time, I'm so happy I saw that. Um, I looked on YouTube and saw their kiss, and it was so cute! <laughs> okay. So the next one, this one is the one that actually brought me to her table. It's Princess Alora. She's so pretty! Oh my gosh, like, look at the little gold details. She's so pretty. And that's what brought me over, and then <laughs> this is the table I spent most of my money on Voltron at, because she had other Voltron stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, and the last print I got, because it was buy two, get one free, is She-Ra. She didn't have Catra, uh, unfortunately, because Catra is my favorite. But, of course, since I love Catra, I love Adora and She-Ra. And this is amazing. Oh, my gosh. Again, I'm going to say it so many times. It's so pretty. <laughs> She's so pretty. I love Adora. And uh, so since I bought these three prints, that's why I brought Pearl and Amethyst as the cloths. Because <laughs> um, I was spending a lot of money. I spent almost $100 at this table, if you want a reference of pricing. The last three things I bought at the table. <laughs> the Voltron as cats. <laughs> anyway, this is the first one I saw. Pidge as a kitty cat. Oh my god, it's so cute. I wore it on my lanyard all of Friday because it was so cute. <laughs> and also I was cosplaying Pidge that day. And then I got Hunk. They had the other paladins, but, you know, Pidge and Hunk, cuties, cuties together. I love Pidge and Hunk together. So I got Hunk and he's so cute as a kitty cat. <laughs> And then, forgive me, I can never freaking remember Keith's mom's name because she's Galra. Um, <laughs> anyway, she's so cute! I loved her design, so I got hers. And I think there was also a little thing where if you got three of them, you got like a special price. And so I got hers. It's something that starts with a C or a K sound. And I can't remember it and I didn't look it up before I started filming so so I got this out of a blind bag of Voltron the monsters mana stickers <laughs> and also here is their at I don't know whether it's Instagram or Twitter because I didn't get their business card but this is the artist here who did these next things it's so cute. I will be using these stickers for sure. Uh, then these are the other things that came in my Voltron blind bag. And this is the actual bag I thought I'd show you because the way they drew that looks really cool. Anyway, I got Shiro. And they all have these little star charms. And also, they are double-sided. So there's evil clone Shiro and regular Shiro. <laughs> So cute. Then I got Hunk's Bayard. I didn't know they had these or else I would have actually bought Pidge's Bayard just separately. And then I got Lotor and I really like this purple star. And again, this one is also double-sided. So nice Lotor and evil Lotor. <laughs> so, and then the last thing I got before the big thing is the cosmic wolf pin just regular pin back since i had seen more of the cosmic wolf i'm just like i need something with the cosmic wolf it's so cute so there's that and now the the big pride and joy of this person's table <laughs> i found a print with a group picture of all of the paladins <laughs> And I literally, like, screamed when I saw it and ran over, and I knew I had to get this. It's so nice. The little Pidge. <laughs> and then Keith in his Galra outfit. Of course, next to Lance, because Clance. <laughs> it's so nice. I really like it. And there we go ink for words it's so nice okay. anyway there's only two more things left uh yesterday probably saw in the vlog i got this little peach colored kitty cat and i used it in my pictures yeah this is just the stuff from like major retailers <laughs> um I have another one of these cuties. I don't know where it is. It's probably on my bed somewhere. But it's a gray one I got last year at AwesomeCon with a fishy in its mouth. <laughs> They're so cute. They're like huge marshmallows. I love them. 
And then one of my favorite items I've gotten all weekend is this Al Elric pillow. It's so soft and squishy and I recently got into Full Metal Alchemist and it's so cute. He's even got this thing. Al is one of my favorite characters from Full Metal, so <laughs> I saw it at, like across the room and I'm like, that's Al! I need it! <laughs> and I saw it Friday, but I came back and got it on Saturday. It's so cute and squishy and I like slept on it on the way home in the car <laughs> as much as I could without getting my makeup on it. But yeah, so <laughs> that's the mess of my con haul I need to go put away now. <laughs> And, um, yeah, this might be its own video, actually, because this has kind of gotten long. I didn't expect to buy so many things, but yeah. John Barrowman, his panel was so good. Anyway, um, see you next time. I'm going to another anime convention in Tyson's in June. And so I'll probably have more stuff from there. Bye.